a guy they picked up last week. The guy in holding cell 16? Yeah, apparently he attacked the doctors while he was under sedation. Is that why he's down here in high security? Yeah. Forty-two has escaped. Officer three is down. I repeat, Officer three is down. Who are you? Part of Project X. Come in. What's your name? Tom Phillips. Take a seat. So, you're part of Project X, right? Yes, I thought it was only success. When did they release you? They didn't. I escaped. That's too bad. Well, I looked at the switch from my room, and the door just unlocked. So you know about your powers? And the army? Powers? An army? Well, everyone who's been in Project X has been in some kind of accident. But as they save your lives, there's a catch. As they're operating, they try and experiment with a portion of your brain that controls telekinesis. And if the operation is successful, then you're on call at all times. And as soon as they have a sufficient amount of Project X patients, the army of patients will attack the White House. So you're saying I can control things with my mind? Well, everyone's different. Some patients can barely move a feather, while others can create psychic barriers and move buildings and even shut down on people's minds. How will I discover my potential? You'll know when the time comes, but as of right now, you need to strengthen your mind.
Hey, you stop! good to have a backup plan. See, if I would have left you to the bungling fools, you would have been long gone, you little girl by now. Go ahead. Take her if you want. I'll stop you as well as I can. Look, I don't know who you are, and I really don't care right now. Just let me go, because you don't know who you're messing with. Don't know who I'm messing with. <laughs> Such naive words. Mr. Phillips, right? Tom Phillips, that's what you're calling yourself. Or, as I would prefer, patient 742. My name's Daniel Thomas. Of course, the name's irrelevant. Merely the important part is you're my clone. Who created you? That's impossible. I couldn't be your clone. I don't look anything like you. Don't look like me, as you can see. You see, you are a clone of my DNA. Doesn't mean we necessarily kept the appearance the same and wanted to be able to decipher you. Me, of course, in case you had to get the bright ideas. However, your DNA is mine. With some slight modifications, of course. And you may think you're an excellent patient. Just like Jessica, you know Jessica. However, any false memories of Simply want to be So if I'm your clone, why didn't you kill me when you had the chance? Kill you when I had the chance? I always have the chance, my dear boy. It's the simple problem to cost too much money to waste. Give you a second chance. Join me and control my army. It's a simple task. All you have to do is fulfill it. Command my army. I will never take part in your malignant army. It's very unwise not to join me. Very unwise. I'm really starting to get irritated with you. I'm going to offer the chance again. You think really hard this time. I really don't want to turn down my offer to join you. If you do, I'm afraid I'll just have to do. 
do the unthinkable. I might just have to forego the money and destroy you myself. Not if I take you down first! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my mental realm. By the way, if you're wondering about the attire, I didn't want to make it too simple for myself to defeat you, so I figured I'd even the odds a little bit. It's just one showing of gratitude that I am a generous guy. And here's another. I'll give you one more chance. Join me, and I won't destroy you. I will never join you. <laughs> you really think you can beat me, don't you? Look at you. You have no <coughs> chance. You're losing the whole fight. Rarely even touched. No, no, no. After killing you, your precious little Jessica, what's gonna happen to her? She had a perfect little life going after we let her go. Since you walked into it, I don't think I can let her go on since she's helped me now. Can't let her live the life she's been living. That luxurious life that we let her live. No, no, no. She's gonna have to pay for what she did. Helping you was a mistake and now she's gonna have to see it. <laughs> don't touch her! Worthless little clone! I created you. You're supposed to obey me! Dare you! Now you're gonna pay. <laughs> yes, now you're gonna pay. Okay, well, not so much you, you'll be dead. But anyone who you've actually ever cared for is gonna pay, Jessica. Ooh. Oh, she's not gonna be enjoying her life after the end of you. No But she was. No! Alright, that's it. I've had enough of your insolence. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
I guess you underestimate me. It's time to put an end to your horrific experiments. Biggest disappointment. Go ahead and finish with me.